we still put many buildings up one brick on top of another brick. But the details have gotten much more complex. The interfaces have gotten more complex. The expectations of time have gotten much more complex, all, all enhanced by how fast we now communicate. So uh, that has, has had an impact on construction as a whole. And I've spent my entire career in glass and glazing and metal. Uh, so now I've been doing this for over 40 years and Intertech architectural testing has been a part of that. In construction, you, you realize it's an amalgamation of many different entities, the architects, the subcontractors, and we're managing that process. Because the different materials come together in different ways, it's very important to have an understanding and a validity that all these materials can work. As we go through this process, we're learning about the constructability between materials. It's not necessarily the curtain wall or the precast or any specific material. It's the interface between those materials that becomes vitally important. How you detail them, how the sealants are done, uh, and how the subcontractors sequence that work. All of that is learned to a tremendous degree when we do this testing. But the reality is you can't get better than the physical materials. And it's the physical materials in testing and seeing how those materials go together as the subcontractors do the construction that creates the value. When you do that and then you apply simulated conditions for weather aspects to prove it out that this building is going to last 50 to 100 years, which is what our clients expect, there's no better place to do it than, than at a test lab. So Intertech has proven that out time and time again. There's no question that mock-ups cost money. And at the end of the day, the things that you learn before we actually apply those in construction are completely invaluable. Because if this happened on a large scale in a construction project, regardless of what the failure is, rarely do we have structural failures. It's usually an air and water consideration. But those things for the long term of our building are very detrimental. You know, mold is a, is a big buzzword in the industry that just can't happen in hospital buildings and high-end office buildings. So the value that we spend here is found tenfold in the field because all those learning experiences are incorporated into construction and it's just carried forward. And there has not been a mock-up that we've done in our history that hasn't proven out a learning experience, not only for us, but for the subs, and many times for the manufacturers. Their materials are used in ways they may not anticipate, and it becomes critical for them to understand what is happening in construction, because it's forever changing. Mm -hmm.